I recently purchased the Weber iGrill 3, a smart thermometer for my Genesis 2 E335, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to start by removing this iGrill cover plate. It's just held in place by a couple of clips in the back that need to be squeezed together. Next, we're going to take the included batteries and install them into the battery pack. Moving to the back of the grill, we're going to also remove these two small cover plates. Same as the one in front, these can be removed by squeezing the tabs together and pushing them out. This is where you mount the battery pack mounting bracket. You can install the bracket by itself, then the battery pack and cable, or you can just pre-assemble everything as shown here and mount everything at once. The battery pack cable and all other cables that come in this kit only install one way, so there shouldn't be any issues connecting them. Next, we're going to install the magnet into the tank scale. This is located in the back where my finger is pointing, so you won't be able to see the install, so here's a 3D diagram to help you. Now we're going to install the fuel sensor, which sits behind the magnet. There's two holes in the back where the sensor clips into, and it only clips in one way. Again, here's a 3D rendering to help you. From here, we can route the wires for the battery pack and fuel sensor out through the front opening and plug them into the iGrill 3. Again, the wires only plug into the iGrill one way. The iGrill can now be snapped into place. Lastly, we're going to take the wire clip and do some wire management. You can choose a place that will hold these wires up and out of the way. I decided to place it above the tank scale. And that's it, the iGrill 3 is now installed and you're ready to start using it via the Weber iGrill app. If this video has helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a member of this channel or becoming a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.